Hello, welcome to 7 Minutes at 7 a.m. with Carolyn, your daily dip into Catholic Lent devotional. And what a beautiful, glorious day. He has risen. He has risen indeed. It is Easter Sunday, 2023. And we are so blessed to have this opportunity to celebrate his resurrection today. I'm super excited. All right. Well, I'm going to dip into the readings right now because I have some uh, so much going on inside my heart and my mind. You may have picked up on that. <laughs> Sometimes I wear my emotions on my sleeve, good or bad. That's who. I, that's what I do. <laughs> okay. So Catholic Lent devotional on page 269. Uh, the resurrection of the Lord, the mass of Easter day. He has risen. He has risen indeed. All right. Acts 10, 34, and then 37 through 38. Then Peter pro proclaimed to speak and said, you know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all, all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. And then Acts uh, chapter 10, verse 43 to him, all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. This whole the central message in Catholic Lent devotional was about the healing forgiveness in and through Jesus. All right. Psalm 118, 16 through 7. The Lord's right hand is raised. The Lord's right hand works valiantly and I shall not die, but live and declare the deeds of the Lord. And then uh, Colossians three, uh, chapter three, verse three through four, for you have died and your life is hidden in Christ with Christ in God. When Christ, your life appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. All right. So, to, so today it's a little although I'm clearly super excited. Uh, it's also a little bittersweet. It's the last day in our book. It's our last time in this bit of our journey together. Uh, and I hope you really enjoy the climax of the story today and the gifts that Kelly receives. Uh, and and uh, I really tried hard to paint a picture of this joy that this day is. Uh, and, and Kelly and Francesco and Abigail and all of the characters. I hope you've really enjoyed this this time together. I hope you've enjoyed the tale. Uh, if you have, if you've enjoyed my book, please, I, I, I'm I ask you a little favor. Could you go on to Amazon and leave a, a nice, sweet little testimonial or review how my book has touched you? I have a link in the notes here uh, for you to, um, that will take you directly to the review page. That would just mean the world to me. Uh, so I am already starting our Advent book. And uh, all right, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert, Francesco and Abigail are back, and so is Kelly, of course. Uh, I'm super excited about the Advent book, too. So anyway, I'm not going to give more away than that because it actually isn't all written, but I'm starting on it. So I'm going to be taking off to a monastery soon so I can just write and enjoy my time with Jesus and let him his word flow through me. All right. Uh, our next topic in our in our journey together here at Catholic Women Gathering is our 90 day challenge because we're going to work on our physical health, our emotional health and our spiritual health. Super important. So I want to leave you with some of the words of Julian of Norwich today. Uh, and this is on her words are on page. Uh, OK, 275. And this was. Of course, I love Julian's words, and these are some of my favorite words. I guess I say that a lot because there's so many favorite words of Julian. But uh, I loved when I read this and first came across it, the vision, or not, not, kind of, not the vision I received, but what I saw as I sat with this. Okay, so then our blessed opened my spiritual eye and showed me my soul in the center of my heart. I saw my soul as, a va as vast as if it were a boundless realm, a blessed kingdom, 
and a prosperous, vibrant city. All right, so I think as you read that, you may see where I got some of the inspiration for the story, for the tale here, because I see this beautiful village, how it's been transformed through Jesus. And we see Father Bosco so happy. He's been a prayerful priest, loves his flock. And uh, anyway, uh, I'm thoroughly enjoyed my Lenten journey with all of you. Thank you for uh, walking with me in this. And I look forward to journeying with you. We got more, we got kingdom building to do. Let's do it together. All right. Amen to that. And he has risen. He has risen indeed. God bless you. And I ask God to bless you. In the name of the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen, my brothers and sisters.